Subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified about the highlights of India's smartest podcast, The Ranveer Show. This is TRS Clips. What kind of conversations do you and your husband have, considering that yeah. he also does a similar job to you in the world? My husband is uh, honorary Major Deepak Rao. He's uh, the pioneer of close quarter battle, and uh, he's one of the six Indians to have received the President Rank Honor. He received this. Uh, honor about uh, many years back with ms dhoni the cricketer and abhinav bindra the shooter and uh, so he's also uh, we are we are similar we uh, in a way our journey has been together uh, so there have been times when we've leaned on each other taken support from each other improvised uh, you know stuff together uh, had out of the box ideas worked them together so we we make a very good uh, in the forces a lot of times uh, officers would call us the ideal buddy pair <laughs> so uh, if you know what that is you see all the ideal buddy pair it's where i know that if he's there behind me uh, he's going to watch my back and the same means it's a, it's like a tremendous confidence that you have in your buddy mm. and you have perfect harmony and synchronization in what you do so what are your conversations like with your husband um on several things if we have an argument over something it's not about who wins me or he it's about the idea that has to win so we have a very objective uh, a discussion i don't it's not an argument but it's like a debate so we decide okay these are your points and these are my, my points and then which outweigh the other and that's how we reach the right decision so it's never about your idea or my idea it's about the ideal idea <laughs> then besides that um, we uh, yeah we we work together and we chill out together we have a good understand i don't like to call him my husband i prefer to call him my partner in life because uh, he has been supportive to me uh, like i have been supportive to him we always believe that 1 plus 1 should be 11 <laughs> so no fair how did you guys meet back in the day yeah so we met in college we were uh, he was 4 years my senior and medical college and uh, we got along well and he used to pursue martial arts as a hobby and uh, i was always interested in getting strong because mm. in school back in school you know certain incidents uh, where you bullied around pushed around uh, that's something that i always wanted to change about myself so i met him and then decided to start martial arts we decided to get married and start our life early and um, so it went well then there was this one incident that completely changed everything uh, you must have heard of that uh, the 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 road mm. incident you want me to talk yeah if you're comfortable okay so actually that's like sending me down memory lane like years years back so uh, we used to go to chopati to train in the morning to do our martial art training and then from there we would proceed with the day's routine So there was this one day where we went to do our training, and uh, it was in the morning around seven o'clock. So there's a small patch of sand, you know, if you've seen Chopati. So we went down that, and in like a secluded place, and there we were doing our training. And there were these uh, three rag pickers who were uh, just walking past. So suddenly, one of them said uh, uh, some very vulgar, demeaning things to me. So we could hear him, but we didn't want to stop our. Uh, you know practice and you know the the focus so we continued uh, those guys went off and um, we finished training it was around uh, 8:39 in the morning it was a uh, very exhaustive the sun was up and we were returning back when we saw these guys standing at a distance and they were uh, you know passing remarks at women who were passing by so uh, my husband said okay fine you see that that's your fight <laughs> and uh, i looked at him and i tried to protest but he just moved out from there well we had to move in that direction so i walked and i wanted it to be finished whatever that you know the confrontation so as i walked fast suddenly i was with my head down i was just about i think 17 or 18 years old and uh, one of those guys came and stood in front of me and you know kind of dancing like this and uh, bad gesturing so i moved uh, to the left he came and stood in front of me i moved to the right he again came and stood in front of me and uh, slowly i obviously couldn't move ahead so i looked up at his face 
and he had this lewd grin on his face and and uh, my heart was beating fast and i was really very scared but just seeing that face of his and the expression he had on his face i took my hand slapped him across his face hard so he reeled back with the slap and he came angrily and tried to headbutt me so as he tried to headbutt me i just lifted my knee high up and he got a hard shot on his head in the meanwhile there was one of his friends who opened up this knife and just came and slashed it across uh my reflexes were good so i just moved out so the t-shirt tore but not my skin i grabbed his hand and i threw him down and within by that time there were some people who gathered over there and then i just moved away from that place but i think that is the first time when i realized what it is to change from weakness to strength it was a very different kind of feeling that i sensed then which i carried throughout my life which was like that if you want you can change who you are you can conquer some of your fears and i also believe in this uh, the saying that i had read long back was the me you see is the me you will be so it's always what you picture yourself to be and of course if you move in that direction and you picture someone there yourself uh, that's where you'll actually end up being mm. people so, perceive you like you perceive yourself it's the same yeah it's 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 an image it's like positive visualization so it's like if you keep positive visualization and and like say for uh, example if an underconfident person who's extremely um, unsure of himself in situations if he were to visualize himself and the situation where he's going he's talking to people whatever it is that he's underconfident about if he goes visualizes that he's going there he's talking to people he's shaking hands with them he's speaking to them he's smiling he's looking into their eyes and talking with confidence now this kind of visualization will actually bring about a change in him mm. so that's the me you see is the me you will be so what you see yourself is usually and if you walk on that path then you eventually do reach there